Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool candlestick rotary dial telephone and a metal bell box, a 634. And this is Bill's equipment from MA. And this is the initial checkout of this equipment. Now there's a note with this unit and we're going to be wiring the wires that are up our cloth cords and we also want to go through the rotary make sure everything is clean oiled and adjusted and we're going to try to use the original receiver capsule and the original transmitter it looks to be in pretty good condition and we may be able to use that and if we are we'll uh, get them in working condition and so we also want to go through our network our wiring block there's an issue with the clapper on the solenoid the clapper is kinda locked up it's not moving back and forth and there's an issue there we're gonna have to go through that so we need to go through everything on this telephone and bell box and it's very cool equipment. It's in good condition for its age. And we also want to take care of an issue with the dial center ring. We have another one that we need to put on there. And I want to go ahead and show you the inside of our candlestick telephone. Bill did not send the bottom cover to the candlestick, but he has it. We have a Western Electric rotary and we want to go through our wiring and our block and make sure that that is all working properly. We also have an original schematic on the inside of the front cover of the bell box so that's cool. And we have our original receiver capsule. We also want to show the hook switch. Now there is no wiring to this hook switch. It's missing. It's been removed and the wires to the transmitter has been removed. So we need to take care of that issue. And then we want to make sure that our hook switch is working properly. We want to go ahead and get a start on this unit and we're going to come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool rotary candlestick telephone and bell box. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we're in the middle of the process of repairing this candlestick rotary telephone and bell box and we're going to show a little bit about what's going on. Now we have our line cord that we've installed a modular line port plug. So that's been taken care of. We're in the middle of the process of working on the rotary so we have that apart if you've never seen a rotary like this that's been taken apart I believe this is a 2H that's our points leaf contacts and then our rotary itself We're going to go ahead and finish up our work with the rotary and then we're going to start rewiring this telephone the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. We're back now and we are finished up with the repair and conversion of this rotary candlestick telephone and bell box. And we're going to run through a little bit about what went on. Now earlier we showed we were working on the rotary. There was quite a bit of work done to the rotary. We also had to redesign the points a little bit because we want this unit to do what we want it to do and work the way we want it to work. 
Now the receiver capsule was gone through. That's original to the telephone. So that's an original diaphragm style receiver. This is also the original transmitter to this telephone. So we're working off original parts. Bill wanted to try to use all of the original parts and we were able to do that. So that's been taken care of. We also had to rewire. We had to add some wire. There was no wiring to the hook switch or to the transmitter. So that was taken care of. So there was a lot of little issues along with the rest of the work that we did to the rotary candlestick telephone. We also installed a modular line port plug to the cloth cord that was with the unit. The bell box, we had to go through the solenoids. We also had to go through the clapper. There was an issue where the clapper would not move back and forth properly. So that was all taken care of and the bells were adjusted. We also had to do some rewiring on the inside of the bell box and get everything straightened out. So it was a lot of things that needed to be done. Now I also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkouts. It's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. And I have an amplifier back by the video and I have a button on it and I can push it and give dial tone or take dial tone away at any time. Now since it's an amplifier there's a little bit of noise in the atmosphere and I'm going to push the button. You may be able to hear it. It's going to hum a little and I'm going to go ahead and push the button right now. You may be picking up that hum. If not, no big deal because I just want to show that it would be the amplifier humming and not the telephone. Although the telephone is working off original equipment and it's not going to work like a brand new telephone, it's still usable. Now we want to go ahead and use the analyzer and send a ring cycle to the bell box. We're going to let that go a few times. I'm going to let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is we want to walk through our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the candlestick telephone. If you watch this red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> hello, hello. And since this is original equipment, it's the original transmitter and receiver. You will have to speak into the spit cup when you're using the telephone. And that's what they did in the old days. And that's what you'll have to do with the original equipment today. So we can go ahead and hang our unit up. Now what we want to do, since we know that this unit is dialing out, we have receive and transmit and our bell box is ringing in. We can push this button on the switch box. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call it time and temp. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone, and we'll call that number. Now the weather forecast for the Belleville area. 
Mostly cloudy today, scattered showers and thunderstorms, highs in the mid 70s, showers and thunderstorms likely this evening, lows in the lower 60s. Mostly cloudy Tuesday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms, highs in the upper 70s. We can hang up, give you some dial tone. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Now that we know that this really cool rotary candlestick telephone and bell box has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Bill and he can enjoy this equipment. Now, Bill has a lot of other telephones. He's sent a picture here with a wooden wall telephone that he's got and he's got some other equipment and he's got some really nice equipment right here with this candlestick and the bell box. So. Evidently, he's collecting up some equipment and enjoys telephones. And I'm sure this is going to look great no matter where he uses it. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com. And you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.